Hello and welcome to the Nork NASCAR Iverson series for a special event, the running of the Eldor 75, the first ever Nork race on dirt. As the field begins to roll here, we'll take a look at the starting order. Row number one with the pole sitter at 89, Sean Williams sits outside the number 74 of uh, Walt Mee. Take a look at row number two, we've got number 11, Cal Putz, who is outside our old man, Cody Miller, in the 28 car. Take a look at row number three here, we've got the 25 of Terrell Baker, to his outside, number three, the Femi Olat. Row number four, we've got the number 24, Stephen Ray Nicholas, and to his outside, the number nine, and David Haim. Round up the top ten, number 19 of Brett Picari, to his outside, the number 70 of Aaron Smith. Row number six, Making a return to North, number 88, Wes Graham to his outside, number 44 of Anthony Emery. And round out the field, number 48 of Will Klein. For a lot of guys, this is their first ever race on dirt. Definitely their first race on dirt track with these cars. So this is going to be a really exciting race. There's already been some laps run down this track, there's some rubber laid down in the bottom lane. That's the pace truck. Turn us down on the pit road here. Sean Williams have control of the field. And the first ever Nork race on dirt is green. And you see Sean Williams, your poles are had a pretty bad start. As we're trying to make it four wide here. As we battle off for second place in 74 cars. Taking off to the lead. As we're now three wide back here for fourth place. One car already back in the wall there. Here's the number nine, David Haynes. And here comes Cal Puss shooting his way up through the field. To me, all that balance third as he goes in the corner really sideways. You can see multiple grooves. There's a lot of banking towards the top. It's pretty flat down there next to the wall as you see Vimeus is struggling with his cars. We now have a battle for the race lead. Kyle Putz looking to the inside of the 74 trying to take the top spot. We've got some light coming from the 11 car. Oh, I'm trying to do the slide jump. There's some contact. You're going to be seeing that a lot. There's a lot of contact here on dirt. This is the way these things race. A lot of around. You see the 11 of Cal Putz. He will take over the race lead. Here comes 89. Shaw Williams trying to recover from that bad start. As we got a three car breakaway up front here. As you see the dust smoke as these cars go flying through these corners. Well, not necessarily flying. They're kind of creeping along here for a dirt car. As it looks like we got we have a wreck in the back. One car into the outside wall. Caution flag is out here. I'm going to take a look at the replay. Another 70 in there. So that car is destroyed. As I take a look at the replay here, it's a 48 Will Klein on the bottom line. Like, oh, there's a car just stopping the middle track in front of him. And all oh, right into the 70 of Aaron Smith. Um, these guys do got two resets, and I'm pretty sure that the 70 will be using one. Let's see, what I'm 24, it caused him to get turned here. It looks like he's kind of very sad. Oh, 44 of Anthony Emery. Just drove him back him and 48 comes flying there. Cody Miller, he got turned, held back into the outside wall. Now, as long as these guys don't have engine damage, this damage won't affect these cars at all. They're going so slow, it doesn't really matter. They go on board. I believe it's Aaron Smith. Oh, there's nowhere to go. Right on the side wall incline. So, we're going, going back up for the restart. Uh, we do have a mandatory caution on lap 30. That'll be the end of stage one. So we're double up for restart here. You see that 11 is picking the outside line here. Pace truck pulls off. Green flags back out and run away here. Kyle Putz with a good jump. As these guys really struggle for a grip. It's really hard to get the traction down <laughs> on this dirt track here. Ooh, see the sun again. A little bit tight. Here comes the three of Femi looking to the inside. 74 all the way up to the wall. Three goes all the way down to the bottom. Femi Olaf will complete the pass easily as we have a Hornet's nest behind him. 25 of Terrell Baker stuck in the middle. Sean Williams doesn't seem to be that good on restarts. He is really struggling with that car. Terrell Baker going out low. We got one car really sideways. 44 Anthony Emery. And it looks like oh, it looks like we got some contact here on Sean Williams to the inside wall hard. Will that bring out a caution? Looks like we're still green. Uh oh now Anthony Embry, he's around. He's stopping the middle of the racetrack. And that brings out a caution. So we already had our second caution flying. We had two accidents here, pretty much in the same lap. Now let's see what happened to Sean Williams.
looks like they just met three wide, come off turn four. It looks like it's turned by Wes Graham in the 88 truck. And see what happens to the 44 after Emory here. You see he's stuck in the middle. And it looks like he just over-rotates the truck. Actually strains the thing off the side of the 48 and going climb, and he just kind of sits there in the little track just trying to get the thing back going. Uh, these cars run really, really soft suspension. You'll see a lot of body lanes. So these cars, once they kind of, they start kind of wobbling back and forth like a boat. Uh, double up for the restart again. Cal Plus, 50 years later, we now have a 3 of Femiola to his inside. Well, not really to his inside. He's kind of laying back. And along with Cal Plus, we'll get the run. We see one car in the wall and restart. That is Terrell Baker. And we have a battle for second place, 74. We're trying to throw it to the inside. See Femiola, he is sponsored by his ex-wife. And there's a lot of insults on the side of that truck. We go, we go back in the pack here. These guys are all over the place. Some guys right next to the wall, some guys in the wall. Some guys all the way down to the inside wall. They're going to use every inch of this track as to see all dirt and smoke and flung up from these trucks. We got side by side battle here. That is for fifth. We must got a side by side battle for seventh place. See, there's Cody Miller. I actually know this. Yeah, Cody Miller to the top. We got Wes Graham right next to the wall. Ross and Aaron Smith, he got that truck repair. He had to use one of his uh, fast repairs, so he's got one left. He's got to start off with two. Terrell Baker, who got into the wall, trying to shoot up for the middle. Three wide. Complete the pass on the 70 of Aaron Smith. Oh, it looks like Wes Graham will catch the wall here. That's like you can hit the wall in these trucks. And if you just gun it right at the right time, you won't lose too much speed. And these guys, all <laughs> this is all over the place. This is some amazing racing. Here it comes the 19 Brett Picari all the way down to the bottom trying to pick up some positions. And when these guys racing each other like this, it looks like the top four are starting to pull away. Oh, one in the wall there. 44 of Anthony Emery, and I think him of West Rim made some contact to the outside wall. There's no safe barriers here, but they're going so slow it won't matter. Got side by side out here comes Brett Picari, who's towards the back of this field, starting to pick up some positions as these guys are just calling all over the place. These, some of these guys are really struggling for grip. And here comes Aaron Smith trying to make a recovery from being involved in that first accident, trying to complete the pass on the 20th Cody Miller. Miller will have to run on the outside. There's quite a bit of banking up there towards the wall, but there's also a lot of loose dirt up there. These guys have to wait a while before a cushion really starts to form to really ride it and get a good run off there. You can see Aaron Smith going all the way towards the inside of the wall. Cody Miller in the middle. Terrell Baker to the top line. And these guys are just all over to her. Now Aaron Smith will go to the top. Oh, and he caught, he caught the wall there. Saying these cars are so sideways here. That's a wall in car too. He's in the wall again. That it's really easy for the rear of the car to catch the wall, even when it doesn't feel like you're that close. Oh, there's contact. Sean Williams and Wes Graham. Now he saw Wes Graham. He turned Sean Williams before. I don't know if that was necessary payback or not, but there was some contact here. <laughs> Looks like Wes Graham just turned on the afterburners, trying to get as far away from the 89 as possible. Sean Williams not letting him go. Aaron Smith, who got into the wall, trying to come back. You see these guys, the lap times are going to be all over the place. Oh, and we have an accident back here. See, that's a 44 and a half the Embry and a 9 of David Haney. He's really trying to get back going. It looks like we have a caution that's out on the speedway. He has to see what happened here to bring out the yellow fly. See, here's Wes Graham. Now, these two got really close when he shifted out of frame. It looks like... Oh! Sean William finally got back to the 88 of Wes Graham. Kind of finished him off, come off the corner. And we are about five laps. We're going to be yeah, about three laps away from the competition caution here. And then the stage one, as much as these guys are wrecking, I don't know if we'll make it. They are now about their yellow. Green flag's back out. Cal Putts, ever since he's gotten the lead, has not given it up. Let's see if Femi Olat's got anything for him. As so we now have the battles going on for first spot. 
You see Femi really digging down there. There's a starting to get a lot of rubber build up down the bottom racetrack. Here comes the 24. I believe that's Stephen Ray Nicholas to inside the for We have another caution out. So we're going to take a look and see who brought this one. Was it Wes Graham again? He was the last car in that picture. See, this is coming off of turn two, and it looks like the nine of David Haynes is kind of comes up right up into him. And I will cause Sean to spin into the inside wall. 44 of Anthony Emery. It looks like he jammed brakes to miss him. And that would end up being the end of stage one. So there would be no caution for that. So we're just going to transfer into the final stage of stage two. And this will take us to the end of lap 75, which is the end of the race. Pace car pulls off. We see the love in the cow pods. He's picking the inside line. Green flags back out and run away here. And start of the final stage. See if Emmy he hit that big run come off the top line and he really does. He gets a really great launch there as her balance how about side. Here he comes to the inside of Cal Putts. Cal just getting like he was in that high line to get that launch there. They're side by side of line as we got a couple of cars back here. Really slow, does not bring out a caution. They didn't spin out. That man time one thing. Cal Putts got from turn one. Great. Oh, I think Femi, yeah, Femi's in the outside wall. Here comes the 74 to the inside. Now, Femi's going to fall back to third. Here comes Terrell Baker trying to look to the inside. These guys are just flying all over the place. There's so much rubber that's getting laid down on the track right now. They're actually smoking the tires. So now i got Battle for third as I see the 74 starting to pull away from this bunch. The Cal Puss is driven out to about one second lead. This is the biggest lead he's had so far this race, I believe. See Femi getting right up next to the wall. There's a lot of dirt there. I think a cushion might start to be forming here. But Terrell Baker, he is digging on the inside line. Well, now uh, we have an air caution. So let's see what brought out this one. See, it looks like the nine and David Hain by himself, and he looks like he's just going to loop it going into turn three. Doesn't hit anything, gets back going, or no, no, he's going to come to a stop. And he has left the race. So we're doubled up for another restart. Cal Putz, I think he realized that. The Bottom line wasn't that great, so he's going to go back down to the bottom. He's going to have the 74 to his inside. Pace truck pulls off here. And the green flags out. We're backing our way here at the door. See 74 just trying to get to the rear bumper of the 11. As we got an air car. It looks like Trell Baker caught the wall there as well. He's going to lose his spot here as we're four wide. Oh, there's some contact between the 44. More contact between the 25 and the 28. Anthony Emery just shooting up through the middle. Oh, but did he overdrive the corner a little bit? Here it comes Cody Miller to the inside. Three wide again. Oh, that was really close. <laughs> 44 is out of control. And I think he's into the outside wall. Terrell Baker trying to turn him off of him. And old Femingen really sideways coming off a of turn four there. That's going to cost him a lot of momentum. Here comes Terrell Baker, who's been into a lot of cars and been into the wall, but that truck's still digging. As long as the motor's still running on, he hasn't hurt the suspension. He'll be good. As we have another three-car breakaway, it seems like these guys getting this glob of traffic, and they just kind of just can't really go anywhere. Here comes the, 40, the 24. As Stephen Ray looking to the inside of Femi. Femi getting a really good run off the top line. As this race progresses, even though we smell like quite a bit of an early yellow, more and more rubber is going to lay down. And these guys are going to have to start running a bit higher line, which you're starting to see. Right up to the wall, it's a quarter panel hanging out, almost touching the wall several places. The 24 really starting to dig in a little bit closer to him. Terrell Baker running from him, and here comes the 24 to the inside. I think Femi might have caught the wall there. Then they lose him that much speed. Actually, both these guys are going to catch a trail baker. Man, look at that back and hang out. Tell him for the 24, with the rubber that's being laid down there, he's making it work. Trying to make a stick. Oh, and he does the slide job. He's a 
Well, then he's gone. Right as he completed a pass, Vimy just disappears, so now he's going to set his sights on the 25 of Terrell Baker. Terrell trying to ride that cushion right up next to the wall. You see the dirt starting to accumulate. And here comes Wes Graham, who's been involved for pretty much every single caution so far. Trying to reel these two in. Get the 28 with Cody Miller in front of him. Terrell Baker desperately trying to hold off the 24. And see, there's a battle behind him here. It looks like Wes Graham is going to pass, I believe, by his that. I think that is the 48. Uh, William, uh, William Klein, as we take a look at later, as he, oh, right when we go to Cal Puz, looks like he caught the wall, but barely caught the wall. As we saw the 44 of Anthony Emery go lap down, so we're past the halfway point. Actually, we're quote, way past the halfway point. 74 digging on the outside line. And he's got the 89 Sean Williams. Sean Williams who had a rough go at pretty much every single restart. Seems like once they get some laps going, he really starts to pick up some speed as he's running a pretty good third position right now. And your top three will be the 11, 74, and the 89. See so these guys are running right above where the rubber is at. And you see we've got uh, Cody Miller here. And when you see Terrell Baker, Terrell Baker has run him down. He's pulled away from the 24, seeing Ray Nicholas. And man, he is, <laughs> he is sliding sideways, trying to hide down on the door. And he's going to the outside, trying to complete the pass on Cody Miller. I think he's got the speed. Oh, he got a little bit too sideways there. And I think you got to step on that frog to get that thing to turn, but sometimes he'll turn a little bit too much. And the 24 starting to reel him back in. Oh, look at that right rear quarter panel cut the wall. He is stuck in the outside wall. 24, assuming Ray Nicholas will complete the pass. Terrell Baker was having a good run going, but that's really going to hurt his moon. He's on to get that build back up. And these guys are starting to run down the 28 of Cody Miller. We get the 48 of Wilm Klein behind Terrell Baker. As this is a four car battle here, four to fourth position. You can see that 24, he's really digging. Trying to catch that 28. William Klein starting to pick up some speed as this run goes on. And I think I think the 24 might have caught the wall there a little bit coming off of turn two. Look at that high line. Terrell Baker is almost over the cushion. Ah, oh, I'll tell you one thing. I think these guys are starting to catch Sean Williams. I think Sean Williams, yeah, we see there. These guys are really real in Sean Williams and Cody, uh, Cody Miller in 28. As we now got a three-way battle here for the last spot in the top five. It looks like someone having to Sean Williams, but he has fallen way back off the front too. Oh, looks like the 24 caught the wall. There's contact. Oh, man. 24 hit the wall, bounced out of the wind into the 25 of Cody uh Terrell Baker and send him back into the wall. 48 Will Klein will take over that spot. And as he's starting to march his way in front of all oh, Terrell Bakers into the outside wall. And there goes Wilma Klein around. Terrell Baker really frozen in there deep trying to get that spot back. Oh the thing almost hooked. And he's back into the wall. Oh, he's still stuck in the wall. Terrell Baker, he's like fast for one lap and he's terrible the next. And yeah, that right sound, that truck is really, really used up. Looks like the next battle we're going to have on our hands will be the 28 and the 89. Shaw Williams in front of Cody Miller. As we're starting to get towards the end of this race. Also got this 70 of Aaron Smith. He is a lap down. And the 74 and the 11 of Kyle Puzz as your layer has really, these two have really pulled away from the rest of the field here. As the whole track, almost entirely the whole track, has been rubbered up going to turn one. With really the very bottom, the very inside, not the rubber buildup. And Terrell Baker, I'll tell you one thing, he's not giving up. He has been in the wall, he's been in the multiple cars. 
And now he's trying to chase down 24. 24 had some speed. Looks like he lost some. But here comes Terrell Baker. Oh, he is really solid. Away. So is the 24. Oh, they're wrecking. Oh, man. Terrell Baker in the air. Caution fly is out. And that car has got some damage. And Cal Putz did not want to see that caution. Oh. Just looks like the 24 got really sideways to see. Wow, all four tires come off the ground. That was a heavy hit. But the 24 kind of slid down into the 25 and they bounce on board with the 24. And it's just, just finding the whole way. Oh man, that car really bounced around once Terrell Baker bounced off the wall. So we're going to get the restart with 11 laps to go. And I tell one thing, the 11 to 74, I don't think they want to see that caution. It was way far ahead of the field, but green flags back out. We're back underway here. Does the 74, does he got anything for cow putts? And her control <laughs> picker looks like, oh, the 11 is in the wall. Quite a bit. That's going to open up the door for the 74. As we have a huge goggle card behind him with 10 laps to go here on the door. And then the 74 is, he's in the wall. He's jumped the cushion. He's <laughs> riding the right rear quarter panel on that wall there, knocking some of the dirt off of it. And the 11 is starting to pull away just a little bit. Nine laps to go. And I'll tell you one thing, the 11, ever since he's gotten a league, he has not been challenged. But the 74 is running, 74 is really getting some speed, running that cushion, but he's back up in the wall again. Not giving up though, we have a side-by-side -side battle for fourth place, and the yellow flag's out again. Oh, we got some smoke here, we got the 48, William Klein, 19, and Brett Picari, let's see what brought out the caution here. See, we see the 25 Terrell Baker grinding the wall like a stripper would grind him in a strip club. Still grinding it. And he's going to hook off that wall. Oh, and he turns the 48 of William Klein into the outside wall. And here comes the 19 Brett Picard just slamming into Terrell Baker. And that will blow the motor in the 25 Terrell Baker. He's going to use a reset, but I think he'll be end up being a lot down here. This is on board with the 19. He sees the spin, just, ah, I'm just riding in 25. It's so hard to avoid a wreck on dirt. Just don't have your grip. Overhead shot, you see the 25 turns off the wall, turns to 48. Here comes the 19 rep car, he's slamming inside of the 25. So this is going to set us up with a five lap shootout. Kyle Puss is dominating this race. 74 has shown some speed, but I don't know if that's enough to get around him. They're really laying off the back of the pace truck here. Truck's off, green flag's out, we're back in the way. I tell Logan, the 74 had a really good restart. He's looking to the inside. Kyle Puss, he'll keep the momentum on the top lane. We're side by side back there for four. We're watching the battle for the lead. Here comes the 89 of Sean Williams with a good start for once. 24 got through turn four, really awful. With four laps to go. Does this 74 have anything for Cal Putz? He is dominating this race. Really has not had a single challenge all race long. As we're coming off of turn four to get three laps to go here in Ohio. Oh, we got someone back there really sideways there. Won't bring out a caution. We're still green here. And the 24, as Stephen Ray Nicholas, has moved up into the first spot. Oh, 74 is into the wall. He really thrown into that corner. Now they're going to be side by side for a second, and that is exactly what Cal Putz wants to see. But I'll tell you one thing, that 24 is fast right now. Oh, 74 got off the turn too. Just terrible. Here comes Stephen Ray, trying to do the slide job. He's going to slide right in front of the 74. He will complete the side job. 74 looks back to the inside. There's contact. White flags out. The battle is on for second place. Kyle Puss is loving this in his mirror. Here comes Sean Williams. He's got to run. He's going to be looking to the outside. Oh, that is, oh, Sean Williams is in the wall. But the race will belong 
to the 11, Cal Puss, who dominated all race long, will take the win 24 in second, 74 in third, Sean Williams in fourth, as the rest of the field across the line. And I thought one thing, for that being the very first ever race on dirt for North, that was a that was a pretty exciting race. As the fireworks go on back here. Cal Puss here will stop and stop finish line. And I'm not really sure how well burnouts are going to work on dirt because you can't put up any smoke, but I think he might try it. There's your second place finisher right next to him, and there he goes. He's going to try to. Well, he's going to be digging a big hole in the ground here, and that's all he's going to be doing. As there's no smoke coming from the back end of that truck. But, um, yeah, pretty exciting race. The battle for lead, uh, there and it got kind of exciting. You know, Cal Puss dominated, but there was a lot of action. Pretty much four falling back, a lot of contact, um, kind of a caution fest, but, you know, this is really everyone's first time on dirt, especially on these cars. As Cal Puss, he just hits the wall there on this uh, victory lap here. These things don't turn well going the other way on dirt, that's for sure. But um, I'd like to thank everybody who watched this, and we probably will be starting up a dirt league sometime in the near future. But we'll see y'all next time. Peace.